Hey howdy hey partners it's today I grew up and today I'm super excited because I'm going to teach you how to carefully remove the batteries from your Toy Story Collection Woody and then reseal him for display. Let's get into it. Reach for the sky. You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond. These are really hard to come by. To get a mint in box Woody from 2009 Cloud Pattern is near impossible for a good price these days. I found somebody on Facebook recently who was selling it from a private collection. It was a nursery item that just was on a shelf. Lucky for me, I was able to snag it up for a great price. It only cost me 200 bucks, which I was happy to pay. I think it's a very fair price for this. They're going for too much for the scalpers and eBay resellers. But this is just really rare to have in such great condition. The box is great. Woody's not sun faded or anything. All the colors are very vibrant. The bottom has maybe a little light scratching, but nothing major. But nothing has ever been opened here before. It just was on the shelf. I already kind of dusted it, and I'll show you how to do that in a bit. On the back, it actually still works. So when you pull the pull string, his batteries work. Isn't that crazy? After all these years from 2009, you pull the pull string. Howdy, partner. My name's Sheriff Woody. It still works. That is crazy to me. That's also dangerous because I found out in the back doing research that the batteries that Woody takes are alkaline batteries. Somebody had told me that lithium batteries don't leak, but these can leak because it says warning, you know, check to see if the batteries leak. So what I want to do is open him, take out the batteries, reseal him for display and clean them up a little bit in the window. And that's about it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Haven't done it before in a collection Woody before, so this will be a fun experiment for all of us. My advice and suggestion is to open it from the bottom. Because if you open it from the top, you could damage the box more. So what I'm gonna do is go through the bottom. So I don't recommend peeling it because the tape's very old and I don't wanna scratch it or cut any of the cardboard. Cut it here. We can always reseal it with packing clear tape later. So if you're one of those nervous wrecks who have shaky shake hands, go very slow because uh, you don't want to cut anything. You see how I just went very slowly? There we go. We have that separation. I'm going to repeat that for the rest of the sides. I did that on the sides here. We're going to carefully open it and let's take this out right here. Just be very gentle. Make sure the pull string ring is back inside because you don't want to cut the cardboard there. For this part, be very gentle and careful. I'm using two hands here to pull up on the cardboard and then slide the ring like so. That way, if you just pull it too fast, you can rip the cardboard there. That would not be good. So I kind of had to wiggle it as I was gently pulling it out. So be very careful with that. Like I said, this is a great box in amazing condition for an old toy. So I'm just gonna leave that over there. Here, this is what it looks like on the back when it's sealed. I'm not gonna mess with this at all if I don't have to because that'd be way too much work to put it back together. This is what Woody looks like in his box. He's pretty strapped in there. Now that it's open, I can move his head. It was bothering me that I wasn't looking totally straight. Uh, so that's better. So what I'm gonna do here is try to get underneath here without taking the zip ties out. See if it's possible to get the batteries out without messing with this. After inspecting this, I realized I do have to take two zip ties out. One that's right there and one that's on the other side right there because that way we can wiggle him loose a little bit so we can get into that battery compartment. So you know which ones you need to do it for it's going to be these two, which I'm actually grateful for because they're not taped down. So I could easily zip tie this back. So I'm going to release these two to get them more loose to see if we can get into that battery compartment. Make sure you save everything. It wasn't zip tied too hard and try to take your time because you want to keep this mint condition as possible. So save that little cardboard. All right, took out those papers, loosen the zip tie. Now from the front, hopefully we can loosen this out a little bit more and I can always put them back so I'm not too worried about that. Just be very gentle and I'm gonna pull this out carefully here. Make sure you save the zip ties of course. You need to get into that battery compartment but also want to keep a mint as much as possible. Well this is awkward isn't it Woody? You're upside down and I'm trying to get over here in this region. I was able to slip the voice box out so I'm gonna get my screwdriver here, unscrew it right there and get those batteries out. Well, this was awkward as heck. I had to put my screwdriver here between his legs so he can poop out his batteries. I was able to unscrew it. Very awkward. Um, so I, I did it, guys. We did it without taking out more of the tape or the zip ties, which is better. So there we go. Here's one battery. And he's going to poop. All right, Woody, time to poop out the batteries.
Well, well, but there the batteries went, so we can get the batteries now, which is awesome. We don't need these, even though they work, I'll save them. And now we got to screw this back in and put them back and then zip tie them back. Let me tell you, that was not fun to screw that back in. I couldn't even film that process because it was just so hard. So I'm going to shove it back in there now. I definitely don't want to do that again. That was so hard. I basically had to go in there. It works best if you're working on him upside down because then you can push it down, get the Velcro back up on here, tuck it under that vest again. So it is possible to do without taking more zip ties out. I guess if you're having trouble and you wanted to do more zip ties, you could probably do this one and this one. You have more room, but I don't recommend it because then you have more time to spend on putting them back together, which is probably the most annoying part. So I'm glad I was able to prove that you can just do it with pulling out two zip ties. So I'm gonna zip tie them back now. Once you get it threaded through, right here, this side and that side, you're just gonna pull on it as much as you can to make it look like it did, just like that. So he's snug and secure in there. Then I'm gonna twist it from the back. On the back side, don't forget to add your paper cardboard thing back where it was, because that's what how I found it. This was actually kind of underneath this part right here just like that and then I'm gonna pull it tight again and just twisty tie it back looks great again just like I found it you know I spent time kind of squishing it down so it doesn't protrude on uh, too much these actually protruded a lot that's how I found it I try to match it up to these up here which I didn't have to untie which is great so it looks great from the back and then on the front it looks really good I pushed them back to make sure it was really secure in there. You could see the zip ties are holding him by the belt loops once again. Looks like how I found it. I think that looks great. Just make sure that it's pulling it really well. And that's how you know Woody's not gonna fall off. And that's how I found him. He was very secure in there. And now he's secure in there again. Could always move the legs if they look weird. Uh, they were squished or whatever, just move them out again. You can adjust the holster now. I could adjust his hand. One of my favorite parts of this is you can adjust the head because he does articulate. So I want him to look straight out the window and not to the side like he was. So you can make little adjustments in here without ruining anything. Just make sure everything looks good. You could even move the vest because it's probably loose. You can already tell, but I don't want to mess with it too much. So let's keep it mint and fresh. And now Woody is ready to go back inside his box. But before that, we need to clean the box. One thing I recommend to clean dust off of the box is to use a microfiber cloth. And I have this Branch Basics. Basically, it's just plant and mineral based, streak free. It is a glass window cleaner, but it's just very light. So what I'm gonna do is spray it on the rag. Don't spray it on the box directly, you know, and then you can start cleaning the window. And I'm actually gonna clean it from the inside too. So just to get Woody's box nice and extra clean, I'm going to carefully clean the plastic window from the inside out inside and outside whatever dust accumulated over the years because there's a hole in the for the speaker here you can get that all cleaned up and just be very gentle with the cardboard because you don't want to wet the cardboard that's why you should spray the cloth first and just go over a bunch of times and then go on the dry side to dry it make sure nothing's wet so you don't leave any moisture anywhere on the window or the box wow just a little bit of shine and dusting and it looks a lot better and it really looks minty fresh now, which is great. I'm just so happy this box is in really mint condition for the age of it for a cloud pattern box. It's amazing. There's no dents, nothing. This is amazing. I recommend going this way and laying Woody down this way, going head first, obviously, and open the flaps. Just go very gentle and slow. You know, when you go, if you rush things, you could rip things. You don't want to rip anything. So I'm going to inspect everything and just go very slowly push very very carefully and back here things may get stuck so be careful with that as well as you're putting it in just make sure you're not ripping the cardboard and slowly sliding it in and as you're sliding the box in there's a pull string ring and just be careful push in this way and then pull out see just very simply but just go be very careful with that so that you know you don't mess up woody last step is I'm gonna get some heavy-duty packing tape cut it down just to tape these edges here where I cut with the actual scissors. I'm not gonna re-tape it too crazy because I want it to kind of look like it never was opened. I'm keeping the factory tape on there, but just covering up with shipping tape clear just on the parts that I use the scissors to slice it. When you look at it, it still looks Thinkway Toy sealed. Wow, this looks a million times better. It looks really nice, shiny and new. Dusting it really did wonders on it. It looks so great. Not scratched up really, it was just a little dusty. 
but now that I cleaned the inside and outside of the window, it looks like it's brand new, like I just got it at Toys R Us in 2009. It's incredible, actually. So I'm very impressed with the results. I'm glad everything came out really nice on this Woody box. Now when you pull the Try Me, nothing happens, he doesn't talk. Very happy to avoid battery corrosion as that is not fun to deal with. You end up breaking the toy, so that doesn't work. And for fun, here is my 2009 original USA Cloud Edition I got, real denim jeans. You can tell that with time, probably was exposed to more sun and lighting because they look a little lighter, the jeans in color. This one looks way more minty, fresh, and vibrant. So you can just see the differences there. But also this was on display for years on a shelf in different lighting conditions. So I recommend if you have one like this, like mine, in mint condition, keep it away from direct sunlight, keep it away from bright lights. Try to keep it in, you know, somewhere dark and cool so that you don't damage your woody or make him fade with time. But this is just a grail piece for me. Looks like a million bucks. Who knows, maybe in the future it will be worth a million dollars. But it's not for sale because this is my grail piece. Now that I don't have to worry about these batteries without fear of battery corrosion. It's also great to have one for display, opened and loose. And it's also cool to have one mint in box. I wish I could do this for all my collection toys. You never know, maybe in the future. Well, I hope this video helps you partners out there if you're considering to do the same and take the batteries out of your collection, Woody. My understanding is that it should work with white logo and signature logo because they're designed the same, the box, I've seen them. It'll work with white logo or signature collection yellow logo besides cloud. As always, partners, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like to continue to support me in this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're alerted for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You want the real buzz like you, you're a, now you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it. <laughs>